Hello students, I am Ishan Trivedi. Welcome you in this video lecture series. In this session, I am going to discuss about a modal split analysis, which is the third method of, or you can say third step of travel demand forecasting after trip distribution. In this session, I am going to cover the basic introduction and the concept of model split, then the factors affecting model split, and at last, the basic approaches for model split analysis. So first, we will understand what is model split analysis. So uh, till date, uh, we understood about the trip distribution. Now the trips may be made by different modes of travel. The model split is the process of separating these trips in the different mode of travel such as walk, car, bus, railway, etc. So in trip distribution, we have just trip distributed among the various zone, whether it can be interzonal or zone to zone. Now in this trip distribution, we didn't get the which mode they have used for those interzonal activity. And now this will be done by the model split where I will compute these interzonal trips between two zone and here which mode of transportation or the travel pattern has been used by the different users. So it usually expressed as a fraction or the ratio or percentage of total number of trips. If I'm talking about the individual choice of travel mode, then it is influenced by various factors. These are of own personal characteristics, then characteristics of transportation system which are available in the city or the town, then trip characteristics and the trip and characteristics. So here, if I'm talking about brief introduction of these factors, then first is the own personal characteristics such as age, gender, income or the car ownership. If I'm talking about the characteristics of transportation system, such as travel cost, travel time, comfort, convenience, and the level of service or the prestige of individual and the system as well. Then the trip characteristics, which includes the purpose of trip, length of trip, urgency, peak or off peak. Then Trip and characteristics such as home based trip, non home based trip, or it can be a work based trip, and the density of the land use. Then there is a difference between the term that is mode choice and model split, and we need to understand these differences. Mode choice refers to the process by which the trip maker chooses a particular mode for his trip. It can be a public transport trip. It can be a personal car owner or motorcycle trip. Whereas a modal split refers to the process of separating the trips in the different modes of travel. Means uh, 10 fellows are using bus transport, public transport, metro. Then 15 fellows are using their own motor vehicle or it can be a car or sharing the car among us or the intermediate public transport or you can say auto rickshaw. So various trips which are generated and have their own destination, the number of trips which are distributed among the zone or the interzonal activities, then here the different modes of travel is been captured in model split and the trips are distributor or you can say separated in this model split analysis. The main purpose of the model split analysis is to determine the proportion of total person trips that can be expected to use in future horizon year. Here we have the private car, public transport facilities or the transit facilities. So we have various modes for the travel. If I classify these 
public transportation or the transit system or those riders then there are two type of riders first is the captive transit rider and the second one is choice transit riders captive transit riders are of those who makes the trips but they do not have the access to the private vehicle they do not possess any vehicle and hence they are dependent on the public transportation system for example children and the poor or the elderly for choice transit riders are those who make the trips and have the choice of choosing their vehicle between the public transportation and the private transportation for a particular journey in our day to day life those who are employed in the companies which are located just outside our city then and there is a bus service of that company to the particular stretch of the street of the city then what they do from their home or the, from their house the bus route is not going to pass but at certain point the bus point is there where the pick up and drop facility is been provided by the company bus so what they are going to do they are going to use their own vehicle to reach at the uh, pick up and drop point they'll park their vehicle and then go to uh, that bus to reach to the company point so here two modes of transportation has been used that is the private vehicle and the mode of the company bus similarly in the same context in most of the indian cities where the metro stations are there what people are doing people who wants to travel from one destination to another destination they'll park their vehicle to the metro station and from there they'll go to the public transportation system even in the state transport bus corridor you'll find such kind of parking where number of vehicle has been parked they'll use their vehicle to just come into those uh, bus station and from that they'll pick up a bus a state transport bus and do their uh, routine journey similarly in railway few people are using their own vehicle to reach at the station they'll park their vehicle and from there they'll catch a train to reach at their destination they'll come back and again they'll use their vehicle and go to their home so this is how the mode choice and the model split has been done so here if i tell you then it is also depends on the number of routes or the number of modes of travel to reach at the destination i have the origin i have the destination but here i have various modes of travel to reach at the destination it can be by route or it can be the choice of the mode of transportation so this is what we are going to learn in this model split analysis so let us understand first which are the factors affecting in the model split analysis or you can say for the mode choice these are the characteristics of trips household characteristics zonal characteristics and network characteristics first let us understand the characteristics of the trips these are of trip purpose and the trip length the choice of mode is guided to a certain extent by the trip purpose for example home based trip which are mainly associated for the students who are going to schools and school trips have the high rate of usage of public transport because students are commuting from one place to or their home to school by public transport now private school buses are there but in general concept these are of home based school trips which have the high rate of usage of public transportation on the other hand home based shopping journey trips can have a higher rate of private car usage where the aspect is to have shopping and for that we own our own vehicle to making that trip then trip length here the length of the trip also govern as an individual choice of a particular mode usually for the short journey 
पीपल चूज ट्रेवल बाय ओन कार और द ओन मोटरसाइकिल और मोन ओन टू व्हीलर बट फॉर द लॉन्गर ट्रिप दे चूज अ पब्लिक ट्रांसपोर्ट लाइक रेलवे और द बस और स्टेट ट्रांसपोर्ट बस इन अवर केस सेकेंड इज द हाउस होल्ड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक हियर द इनकम इज देयर कार ओनरशिप एंड द फैमिली साइज एंड द कंपोजिशन If I'm talking about the income, then higher income groups are able to purchase and maintain the private car, and thus private car are more frequent as the income increases. For the car ownership, the family which have their own car prefer the private car trips only, and in the contrast, where the family is without the car, they patronize the public transport. next is family size and composition the number of person in the family the number of school going children the number of wage earner the number of unemployed the age the gender structure of the family these are influencing for the model choice see in your family structure those who are earning they must have their home based non home based trip they must have their definite route and the type of vehicle and their mode choice as well for school going children they have their mode choice behavior so the structure the age these things are most probable uh, parameters for the choice of various modes next is zonal characteristics here residential density then distance from cbd and the concentration of workers are the main factors if i'm talking about the residential density then the use of public transport increases as the residential density increases this is because of the fact that the area with the highest residential density are inhabited by many persons with the lower income with lower level of private car ownership and thus it is found that the higher density areas served well by the public transportation system now next is the network characteristics here it, these are of accessibility ratio travel time ratio and travel cost ratio if i'm talking about the accessibility ratio then it is a measure of the relative accessibility of that zone to all other zones by means of mass transit network and the highway network so here the sort of comparison or the accessibility ratio has been carried out by the provision of a mass transit network of that particular zone and the highway network now the travel time ratio the ratio of travel time by public transport and the travel time by the private car gives a measure of attractiveness of public transportation system here what we have we have sort of comparison what if if i go or opt a public transportation system to reach at the destination and what if if i opt my own private car or the vehicle to reach at the destination so in that also there are various factors which are governing for the uh, public transport and the uh, private car travel time ratio so first if i am talking about the travel time by public transportation system then it is composed of the time spent walking to the public transport vehicle at the origin means from home to bus station uh, what is the time to reach at the bus station then the time spent for the waiting for the public transport vehicle so after reaching at the bus stop or the public transportation station how much time i am spending for waiting for the public transport vehicle then time spent in the public transport vehicle then it is the journey time in the public transportation system i am quoting again it is the journey time for one station to another station in the public transportation system or the vehicle then time spent in the transfer from one public transport vehicle to another if applicable again i'll change my bus route for example in delhi from blue line to green line from yellow line to blue line so there will be a transfer station and at that particular station there will be some time which i occupy for the changing of vehicle now 
Next is the time spent walking from the public transport vehicle and at the destination. From reaching at the destination station, then I will take some time for walking to reach at my particular destination. This is how the travel time of public transportation system has been uh, composed of, of various factors. If I am talking about the travel time by private car, then it is composed of the time spent in the driving the, this car, then time spent in the parking at the destination and time spent in the walking from parked vehicle to the destination. Third is the travel cost ratio. The ratio of cost of travel by public transport and the cost of travel by the car is one of the most important factor influencing the model choice. The importance of travel cost is related to the economic status also. Our people with high income are unmindful of cost and prefer more expensive modes of travel. So these are the factors affecting in the model choice. Now, I'm ending with the title of basic approaches for the model split analysis. Majorly two approaches are there in the model split analysis, the trip and models and the trip interchange model. Furthermore, by the empirical formula, we have the logic analysis and the probit analysis as well. So total four number of models we have in the, or you can say approaches we have in the model split analysis that is trip and models, trip interchange models, logit analysis and probit analysis. So I'm ending this session here. I hope you have learned this basic concept of model split analysis which is part of travel demand forecasting models. Thanks for watching this video.